Making after school snacks is always at the top of my mind and making it wholesome, protein rich and also rich in calcium is something that I'm always looking to give my children. In today's recipe, I'm going to show you how to make a grilled cheese sandwich which is going to be packed with protein with soft cheesy scrambled eggs. These scrambled eggs, I'm going to be mixing it along with Britannia's roasted garlic cheese bread which is thick, creamy and is going to add a burst of flavours to this grilled cheese sandwich. Without wasting any time, let me just dive right in and show you how to make it. So the first step is to whisk up the eggs and then put it in the pan and then make it a scramble. Okay, I'm going to break in all the eggs into my bowl. I'm going to use a fork and whisk it up really well until it's uh, nice and smooth. Okay. Great. Now that the eggs are whisked up, I'm going to go ahead and preheat my pan, add in a little butter and then scramble the eggs. So into my preheated pan, I'm going to go ahead and add in the butter and allow it to melt just a little bit and once it melts, we'll add in the beaten eggs. We'll add in the eggs and uh, we'll have to cook the eggs on low uh, to medium heat and then allow it to scramble slowly because if you put it on high heat, it'll uh, become dry too fast and it'll be nice and soft. Okay, so I'm just going to allow it to keep whisking it while it is scrambling so that it forms a nice smooth scrambled egg, okay? So notice that the eggs have almost scrambled and it's slightly wet and it's very important to turn off the heat at this stage if you want really nice soft scrambled eggs because only then your eggs will be nice and uh, soft and creamy and if you're allowed to cook a little more in the heat then it'll become dry. So I've turned off the heat and now my next step is to add in the burst of flavour with Britannia's roasted garlic cheese bread. So I'm just going to do that in just a bit. So now I'm going to keep this to the side and go ahead and add my Britannia's roasted garlic cheese bread. This is one of my favourites. It's got a delicious flavour of garlic and it's really creamy and nice and it's going to make the scrambled eggs nice and creamy. Okay, so I'm just going to take a nice large tablespoon and add it in there. We'll give it a mix. Notice that I haven't added salt because the cheese bread is packed with a lot of flavour and taste and so just give it a taste to see if you would like to add some salt or even pepper for that matter. Okay, I'm just going to leave it just like that because my children just love it just like this. And I'm going to add in the dill leaves which I've chopped which is again going to add into the taste and flavour. So that's it. So now that this is ready, I'm going to go ahead and assemble the sandwich and get it ready for grilling. I'm also going to preheat my grill pan by the side and so that when our sandwich is ready, we'll be ready to grill it as well. So I'm going to bring in the grill pan, place it for preheating and then put the sandwich together. So I'm ready to assemble the sandwich. The first thing I'm going to do is to spread in the roasted garlic, creamy scrambled egg into this. And you know actually the best part about these cheese spreads is that they are so versatile, they are packed with flavours and Britannia comes with six different flavours of these cheese breads and I use them in multiple different ways, not just in these scrambled eggs but also um, in making pasta sauces, dips and a lot of different things. They come in very very handy and it's good to stock them in your refrigerator. Great, so now I'm going to spread these eggs into the slice of bread. Great, so now that this looks good, great. so now that this is done, I'm ready to put in the Britannia cheese slice which is going to give in a perfect uh, layer of melted flavours to the grilled cheese sandwich. So I'm just going to go ahead and open a slice and we'll place it over the scrambled eggs and we'll take in one more and place the other one on the top. I'm ready to cover it with the other slice and, um, and I'm going to show you how to make a perfect grilled cheese sandwich in just a bit. So the first step is to layer the top slice with a nice layer of butter. Okay, so I'm just going to take some butter in the knife and then spread the butter evenly on the top slice, okay, on the top. So now that this is done, I'm going to show you how to put it on the grill pan and grill it to get a perfect grilled cheese sandwich with a few more tips. Great, so now what I'm going to do is to invert this uh, buttered slice to the bottom so that the bottom will just get grilled and it's a trick, you have to be very careful. There you go, and I've just placed it there and I'm going to go ahead and place the other sandwich as well. Great. 
just align it and then keep the heat on medium because it's very important that the grilled cheese sandwich is made on medium heat so that it cooks evenly and the cheese gets to melt beautifully. So another step is to smear some butter on the top slice now which is on the other side and once we flip this side will also have in some butter so if it's for kids I smear just a little extra butter so it gives them that delicious crunch on the outside and really soft uh, creamy and cheesy scrambled egg on the inside with that Britannia slice of cheese which is going to be melting beautifully giving in that burst of flavors Excellent. and I'm just gonna spread this in and I think we're all set and I'm just gonna wait for the bottom to be grilled just keep pressing it very lightly. It's important that you don't actually squash the bread and make it flat. It's important that you just keep pressing it lightly, okay? So in just a few minutes, I'm gonna flip it over and then cook it on the other side. Ready to flip and cook it on the other side? There you go, notice that beautiful grill marks. I just love it when we have some delicious grill marks on the sandwich. So can you see that cheese melting there? It's absolutely beautiful. That's exactly how you want it to be. So I'm going to press it lightly again and so the other side gets cooked evenly and grilled to the perfect crispness. So the other side has been grilling as well. I'm going to flip it. Oh, this looks so beautiful. The cheese needs to melt slowly and nicely. So I love how the Britannia cheese slice has melted so beautifully. It's going to add a burst of flavors to the grilled cheese sandwich and I can't wait to serve it along with some guava juice. So these grilled cheese sandwiches are my children's weakness and the cheesy scrambled eggs along with the Britannia cheese slice is going to be absolutely delicious and I'm sure my children are going to love it. And if you're not going to be using scrambled eggs, you can also use like paneer and then toss it along with this cheese bread and it'll taste absolutely delicious. Do give this recipe a try. When you do, don't forget to take a snapshot of it and share your cheesy kitchen moments with us. So until then, until next time, happy cooking and healthy eating.